the old painting video. <laughs> There's something in my ear, man. Speaking of ears, actually, welcome back to 104 Days of Beep2Bot. But um, the next up-to-date videos are never. <laughs> 104 is almost over. Uh, wait, what, what do you? Um... What, what was I supposed to? What was I supposed to? Okay, wait, I'm painting today, right? I was watching a bunch of Bob Ross videos and I was like, I don't have nearly any of these supplies that he is using, but I have my own. I have a bunch of brushes. I have a few trays, only a handful of paints and Mod Podge. So not nearly as, oh, and I have two rolls of tape. I don't know if that, helps anything. I only know the basics of painting, not like any of the cool things that you're supposed to know, but I do know some things, right? I know how to draw. I'll show a picture on the screen right now of a drawing that I did just yesterday or the day before. Um, I used to be really into anime and what, as I'm explaining, I'm just gonna start. I used to, back in the day, I used to draw a bunch of anime and I used to do, I used to do a lot of drawings. I used to do drawings like just as much as I do YouTube videos. Like I would draw almost every day I would doodle. How do I get this stuff out? These I usually squirt it, right? <sighs> how? My back! Yeah, you just squirt these out. This, I don't, I never knew how to do the white. I would just, I guess, pour it, right? I think that's what I would do. Oh god, it's like, it's like liquidy. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um, what the world? <laughs> yeah, I just have a little bit of brushes and uh, a few trays. I'm just gonna put this in my water and hopefully I don't drink that. There we go. There's the paint. Ew. Cool. It's overflowing and it looks disgusting again. Cool. Cool. How do I fix this? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna need a new cup. I'm gonna need a new cup. Now, I'm going for my masterpiece. Just a, 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 a straight up masterpiece. You always need a rag, you always need a paint rag. I'm gonna paint over the canvas with white, right? To even it out or whatever the f it's called, I don't know. I, I wanted to do like a Bob Ross kind of video, but like I didn't have like half of the supplies that I need and I just wanna mess around <laughs> and just paint some stuff. Why, I was like thinking, why don't I just do that? Why can't I just do that? So, yeah, no, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, like I said, we're going for an absolute masterpiece and we're just gonna mess around and paint. I don't know how to start. I guess use this, use this to hurry up and paint the whole thing, right? What stories can I tell? Oh yeah, speaking of ears, right? What a segue. I suppose I can just talk about my days. Just talk about like, I can, I guess I can just tell some stories and making the videos of 104 and just talk about my days and stuff like that. I, I think it was like yesterday, yesterday or something. I wanted to do some sound design, right? DIY sound design and make my own sound effect. Cause I really want, I was like exploring, like figuring out how to make videos better and stuff by using sound effects and using music and what I'm allowed to use and what I'm not allowed to use. There's a hair. I was warned about hair when painting. Just make sure you dust off your stuff. Oh no, please don't get paint on the jacket. I need to move the jacket. Why didn't I fucking think of that? God damn it. Well, I can't use this hand. I gotta use this one. Painting. One of the messiest things and I mess up. I also wanted to get to painting because yesterday, assuming that things go right, Benji, Benya, really stressful, stressed me out. So now I just need to chill. The video for today was gonna be a drunk video, but I was like, I really wanna do a painting video. I don't wanna get drunk, I wanna do painting. And I thought that that would be the equivalent to, to that. Yeah, dude, Bob Ross had that like knife thing and I don't have that. I do have the side of a brush, but like, I just wanna make my own thing. <laughs> It would be cool to do a Bob Ross painting though. It would be cool to have a Bob Ross painting. Oh yeah, sound design. I was making my own sound effect and I, I used my microphone, right? Cause it's a pretty good microphone, Blue Yeti, right? And freaking, uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was because my earphones were right next to my mic. And even then that wouldn't make sense because like, why would that happen out of all the times that I went live and I recorded it using that. But what had happened, what? There was a really loud, high-pitched, like, 
thing and I had my earphones in and I could hear it. I wanted to hear what I was recording, right? To make sure I'm getting it good, right? And the thing is, I wanted to make like a creepy whistle, like a creepy wind sound. And the, it, the weather was so bad that day and I wanted to, to uh, use that to my advantage and leave a crack in the door and have the wind whistle through the crack of the door. And, and I would record it. I'd have my mic right up to it. But it just, it like, <laughs> the loudest ear piercing noise filled up my eardrums and I went deaf for like a minute and a half. I couldn't hear anything. Well, that's probably exaggerated. I couldn't hear anything for like a minute. No, like a half a minute, right? 30 seconds. It was a few seconds. It was just long enough to be concerning. And it was really, it was so scary, man. And I was like, I'm fine. I should be fine. People hear loud things all the time, right? Scuba divers probably hear whales. There are people in the military and stuff, firing guns, having bombs blow up, um, grenades and stuff. That's exactly what I was thinking at the time. I was like, dude, the th another thing that I would think of was, right? <laughs> I hope. Cause like, yeah, they're both loud, but this one was like, hurts. I mean, everything is hurts, but like, this was like a, you know, like uh, explosions and stuff like that are like a different type of loud, but I guess it, it makes your ears ring. But like, this was a ringing sound that made my ears ring and it was just really loud. So loud, so freaking loud. I was legit nervous. I was like, is this, is this it? Is this my destiny? I'm just deaf. I was so nervous, man, because 104 hadn't, it wasn't even ready to go out yet. And this was a few days ago. 104 hasn't started up yet, right? And I was like, I need my ears for at least a few more months, man. Please, I need them, I need them. I was like, wow, man, I'm actually concerned. I was like, I, I don't want this. I was so scared, weird. It was very nerve wracking. I feel like my hearing is different in a way right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to do some freaking sound design and I nearly deafened myself. God damn it. I've never done sound design before in my life either, so that explains a lot. I don't know why that happened though. Why would that have happened? I was recording through OBS, right? So that's for anyone out there who might have an explanation as to why I almost deafened myself on accident. Hey guys, Trey from the future here. I figured out why my microphone and headphones almost deafened me that day. So there's a volume, a volume setting on my headphones right here. See? Right there. See it? Okay, and if I have my headphones, which is plugged into my laptop right here in the headphone jack thing, I have that plugged into my microphone, my Blue Yeti microphone, and I have microphone plugged into my laptop in order to get it to work, right? You understand that. But if I have, if I'm recording or something, or I don't even have to be recording actually, if I have my volume setting turned up all the way, or too high even, it doesn't even have to be all the way, then it makes that high pitch sound. But if I lower it, it doesn't make the high pitch sound. I figured this out a little bit uh, a few weeks after I recorded this video, or actually a month, like a few weeks ago actually, and uh, I actually procrastinated with editing this video, but that's the reason why there's a little lesson for you guys out there. Enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> right all right so i think that's wide enough right what i'm gonna do now is i think i'm gonna do a person or something something happening i do have the primary colors red blue and yellow right so i can mix colors up to make new ones right but i'm gonna need to figure that out right it, the evidence is right here the proof is in the paint so green blue yellow red orange and a bunch of oranges i this was like my last time painting because i was trying to get a, the right orange i was trying to paint benji that was my last painting i think i should go get my other paintings in the living room oh okay what's up what's up, what's up? there I want to try to give a Bob Ross there. You know how he says that? All right, I want to paint what I think of. I want to, I want to paint what I, f what I, f oh, excuse me. Oh, I want to paint what I think of when I think of 104, this era in my life, this whole saga in my life, right? The 104 arc in this anime that is known as my life. Okay, all right. Oh, I think that's what I didn't get, that I, that's what I didn't do right. I, sh I should have shaken it. I shook this out of like, cause I, it reminds me of ketchup. Blue. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm thinking of. Ah, damn it. This is where it gets messy. Get my rag, wipe it off, wipe it off. <laughs>
This is so awkward. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just spoon it out? Am I supposed to spoon it? Is that what I want meant to do to the white paint? Thought the universe sent you. Yeah, that's some thick white paint, baby. We're just gonna paint. This is our world, right, Bobby? Oh man, my uncle's name is Bobby. He passed away uh, when I was young and um, he inspired me. I, I guess it's a kind of a bold thing to say they inspired you to be like who, someone, like to say this, right? Someone inspired you to be creative, right? But um, I saw his, whoa, are you seeing that? I saw his stuff, all of his work, all of his paintings and stuff. I guess it's good because I need to make it dry. This is so good for my ADD. I'm just talking every, everywhere, everything. But yeah, dude, um, I saw his stuff. I saw his work and uh, I was like, I want to do that. I want to be just like that, right? And I begged him to teach me. I begged to be his mentor, right? When, you know, I didn't have to do all of that. I didn't have to be that cordial, I guess, you know, because I was young and he would show me anyway. <laughs> And he was my uncle, right? Amazing, man. Every memory I have is so good. He inspired me to draw, and I started drawing a lot. And then he passed, and then I kept drawing, I kept at it. In his name, every time I would do it, in his name. I didn't paint that much because I wasn't that good. But here we are today, in the 104, Spirit of 104. We're painting, facing our fears, doing things that we never did before, and all that stuff, all those kinds of things. And now, I like doing videos, making videos, photography, videography. I still draw sometimes, as you saw at the beginning of the video, kinda. I am painting now and... All right, now we need a little bit of black. A little bit of black. I didn't open this one yet. I'm gonna open the other one, because I already opened it. It's been a little bit since I picked up my painting stuff. It really has, it really has. I don't think this thing, this palette is supposed to have all these colors in it. I think it's just kind of for like two or three colors to mix them, but I don't think I really care all that much. <laughs> I'm just messing around, like I said. This uh, bravery test, you know what? Screw it, bravery test. When I mix paint, it doesn't freaking do. It's just stringy, pisses me off. So uh, yeah, this is just like a little relaxing thing, right? Totally, when I'm when I'm mixing the paint, th parts of the brush get you know wet with paint that I'm not exactly wanting to get wet, right? Uh, the paint goes every uh, elsewhere, everywhere else except for the tip. Why am I getting knots? Just chill, Trey, chill. Did I already say what I'm about to paint? I don't think this is our world. <laughs> my world. My world, my world. <laughs> okay, our, our world looks dysfunctional and like it looks... <sighs> our world looks dysfunctional there's gaping holes in our reality that um you can see the existence exist i mean not exist because there's holes in it that's that's what you can see this is like a game of scribble isn't it i want you guys to be guessing in the comments as the video is progressing okay don't just sit there i'm joking but it would be cool to see like um you put time stamps in the comments and be like, at, at this point, I'm guessing that it is a window of some sort or something like that. I don't, I don't know, maybe, but. Bobby is right hand, I mean, Bob Ross, right? He's right-handed, yeah, so let me. You see, like, when the paint gets right here, it pisses me off, cause look, that's totally usable. I'm gonna use it, I don't even give a fuck. Okay, there we go. So, how's everybody's day and stuff? How's everybody's day? Everybody had a good one? Cause I had a pretty good one. Um, I spend most of my days lately just kind of, um, just kind of planning for what's next in 104 and like besides the videos and stuff, I don't know if this actually happened by the time this video goes out. Hopefully it, it did. I think it might've, right? But 
I'm trying to work on like getting clothes done for 104, right? Special clothes like merch and I give it away for free. I send it to you guys. I hope that happens. I, I pray that happened at the moment. I spent most of my day trying to plan for it. I have my friend drawing designs for it. I have my friend work on like two designs for it. And I worked on some designs myself, make sure it's perfect. And I'm there like 100% of the time and stuff like that. It's stuff that I would wear every day that I would feel cool in. Different people who can actually make the clothes and put the designs on it because there's like I have multiple people that I want to do the designs like uh, my for example I'm working on the design right and my friend worked on some more of the artistic stuff and I was there just kind of doing the fonty the font stuff more wordy kind of designs but then I have two other contacts of mine that I would like to actually put it on the clothes but there's a lot of moving parts man just b besides all the videos and stuff dude Getting the videos out, worrying about when they'll go up, what time. What do you guys think it is? Put it in the comments, timestamp or something. This is gonna be my masterpiece. It's gonna totally be my masterpiece, man. man. In my world, there's a little lump right there. Yeah, even though it's not even supposed to be there and it was totally accidental. Accidental. Yeah. Now we're gonna take a little bit of your brush and uh, use it and paint it in black. Black. I don't know how Bob Ross does it. What the hell, man? Okay, wait, wait. Dude, I run out of paint so quickly. How does Bob Ross not? Does he? Does he? I don't know. I run out so fast. Look, boom, I'm empty. Like, what the hell? I'm not, but you know. You know what I mean. Yeah, looking good. Look at that, look at that. Yeah. All right, one more coat. How long have I not run out yet? That's crazy, I just went around the whole circle. I mean, <laughs> God damn it, square. <laughs> God damn it. I don't think this is even a square. I mean, it kind of is, you know, if it's, it is a square. That's a, a freaking hint as to what it is, but it's just at an angle. But if you want to be a really, like a, a, a math hole, God damn it, like a math asshole, then you can be like, oh, it's actually a rhombus, but like on a weird day, it is called a diamond. It's actually a rhombus, uh, you weirdo, it's a rhombus. No, it's a weird, you weirdo, it's a rhombus. It is actually a, a Perry the Platypus uh, shape polygon. Thank you very much. I am named XX Dark Lord XX. Uh, I have severe main character syndrome. <laughs> you have fallen right into my trap into thinking that it is a square. You fool. What do you think it is in the comments? What do you think it is in the comments? It's kind of hard to find something to talk about with me being like, I'm going to keep it a secret and see if you guys figure it out. You know, it's kind of it kind of makes things harder on myself, right? You know, so I think that's a thing that is a problem. I need a massager on my on my back. How long have I been recording? 43 minutes wow wow i can like wait for that to like dry and then go over it again in white first you want to get your red apple real red you want your real red you'll never guess what i'm about to paint the one chip challenge i know it's like purple and black but like 
I'm doing red because it's like fire. It's like on fire. God damn it. The reason why I wanted to do an apple is because I've been eating apples a lot recently. Not because I'm apple gang. I'm orange gang. I'm orange juice gang, but like apples are just good. Oh my gosh. Ow. Why am I stressed? But this is kind of what pops into my mind when I think of 104, right? I'm gonna put some black in there. You know, to just kind of stay true to the chip. Gotta beat the devil out of it, right? <laughs> Am I making you proud, Bob? Come on now. I think I'm doing good right here. That is a beautiful orange right there. I've been watching a lot of haunted videos on YouTube. The video itself is not haunted, no. But like, I've been watching a bunch of paranormal investigating and stuff. All that types of shiz. Yeah, it, it's been pretty fun. I've been calm on YouTube, watching about a, a bunch of like, cut that out, cut all that out. God damn it. Ooh, I like the way that the black is a shadow or like a smoke. That looks cool. I like that. It's mixing up a little bit. Kind of what I wasn't liking about what was happening with the plane. It looks like just like a, a stained dark blue color at this point now but this works i guess it, it works it makes sense okay so i'm just kind of doing key points i guess major things what happened in 104 and stuff i think i have an idea and oh look at the smoke check this out whoa what <coughs> What was that? Okay, so I'm gonna do an e-boy theme in the corner over here. Am I supposed to wet the brush first? Am I supposed to do that? Maybe, maybe so. Don't know. It doesn't matter really. I'm trying to be a director as I'm doing this. Okay, so here are a few stories that I want to tell that happened during 104. This one is called Clock Trouble. So basically, why it's called clock trouble is I was taking this picture with my friend for like to promote 104 when it comes out like I would post it everywhere and it was pretty cool you know the photo shoot thingy went well and it, we got a dope picture and I needed clock right I wanted to do things that were related to beep to bot like I had a few buy bottles I had Benji I didn't have Benya because I would spoil it and I had um the clock and what else? I had my camera, of course. I had my yellow hoodie because that is like the theme of 104, I guess. <laughs> it actually, actually it, that, the yellow and orange theme of 104 was just kind of an accident. Um, didn't think of it like that ever, but that's just what it became to be. Um, what else was there in the picture? I don't know. You guys saw the picture just now. But anyway, the clock is my dad's parents clock and I think it was their parents so it was like passed down generation to generation point of this story is the clock right Every, we had everything in it and I the clock the reason why it's called why it's so the clock is so important is because it was my parents my, my dad's and then it was for his parents and then, and then their parents like it was passed down from generation to generation and uh I'm ran out of we're out of breath but that's the reason why so it's so old right and they were, and um, I was hanging out at my friends for the remainder of the day. I wanted to get a Polaroid, get some pictures of it, of me setting up, you know, and have the setup picture, the promotional picture. But I stayed there for a little too long. I wanted to get there, then get back before my parents got home the, at the end of the day. Time got away from me. We were playing video games, and then I get a call from mom. And the first thing I hear is, where is the clock? And they were just both, they were both mad. Dad was mo mostly mad because it was his, right? And, uh, um, freaking, I, I, I understand why, you know? I'm not, I'm not being like, mm, you know? But like, yeah, dude, I completely understand. I understand. I was like, oh, damn. They got home and I immediately thought of like a oh, rewind button or something, undo button or something like that. So yeah, I was pretty worried. I was so scared and stuff. And I got home. They were like, if it's not, you know, working, you know, then you're in trouble or something. I don't remember exactly. I, I should remember these things. I just have them written down so I can freestyle it when I'm telling them. And uh, 
yeah, that, that was a pretty crazy moment. That was pretty crazy. I was like, I was like, wow, I'm, I am doing so good getting videos done for 104. And now I lost all of their trust and stuff. And I'm saying, dude, I, I was like almost 50% done at the time. And now I'm, I have 75 or 74 videos. Uh, what percent is that out of 104? Hey Siri, 75 divided by 104 times 100. So right now I'm like 72% done, right? So obviously gain the trust back, <laughs> thank God. And pretty much, yeah, that's about it. The clock still works. Uh, you can hear it live and well in most of the videos. I turn it off, I like stop it. I stop the clock when I'm doing skits and stuff because I don't want it to interfere and make the audio ugly or stupid, <laughs> you know? God damn, how many fingers do I have? What the heck? Uh, what else? I need to add more. Why not just do the obvious? Just draw the number 104, right? Right? I'm being an artist today. I'm being an artist. We're gonna just draw this one in, um, I think black. This next story is called A Fire Midnight. I think I'm gonna change it to A Fiery Midnight. A Fiery Midnight. So this, this was a pretty short one. This, this is a pretty calm story. Not really at the same time. It's just the fact that it was like midnight and I was on the phone with Waffle and I was bored, man. I was bored. So I grabbed my Bean Boozled beans and they're all, they're the hot kind, right? So I, I grabbed them and I was like, dude, I'm gonna just eat these, right? So I just ate a bunch of fiery bean boozled beans at midnight. So that's pretty much the end of the story. Like I said, it's pretty calm, not much going on in there, but it was pretty wild. It was a wild night. And I, after I ate the first one, I was like, yeah, okay, bad idea. And then Waffle was like, okay, all right. And then next thing you know, I ate another one. I started freaking sweating profusely. And then Waffle was like, you idiot, you idiot. Right? So that, that was pretty calm. But it was just the fact that I just kept going. It was the spirit of 104, baby. Look at that beautiful number. Now you may be saying, Trey. <laughs> and if you say that, you're wrong. You're wrong. Oh, it looks like the flag, the red spot. I mean, the, the spot, I mean, the, the uh, grid, the lines. <laughs> God damn it. So I'm going to do um, a little bitty brush. Oh my gosh, I need to do a muffin. I need to draw a muffin. The last muffin, man. Video coming soon. How long have I been recording? I've been recording for 104. One hour and four minutes. And five minutes, yeah, 57, all right. Okay, I'm gonna work on the white, black. I almost went for the freaking white, dude. Wow, that looks just like it. That looks just like it. And you can also think of that as like a little fold. Fix up the little part in the 104. We're gonna reinforce that. Oh damn it, I dipped it in the black. Okay, now dip it in the white. I had, th I had to think about it because I was gonna go back in the black, but didn't focus. What the hell, what the f does a freaking four look like, man? Is that a four? That's a four, right? That's a good four. That's a four, come on. Come on, that's a four. Now it's a four. Okay, now uh, this is pretty much what I think of when I think of 104. What the hell is bubbling? I think it's the paint water. Guys, 50 likes and I'll drink the paint water. 50 likes and I'll drink the paint water. I don't even know how well the channel's doing. Um, you know, I don't even know if 50 likes is easy at this point or not. Cause 104 is basically, uh, on the ropes, right? 
We're almost at 100, but just know that when we get to 100, we still got a little bit more left to go. But yeah, this was kind of a video to ease me from yesterday. Supposedly, the video hopefully was spending the day with my children. A video with Benji and Benya. Like I said, this video was supposed to be me getting drunk, but I wanted to do painting instead and have a cool painting. Good thing I handled the stress really well, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I'm really proud of that chip. This is my painting. How do you guys like it? How do you guys like it? Let's get a thumbnail. Let's get a thumbnail real quick. Good, 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 good. There. <laughs> uh, do some Bob Ross sound effects. I don't know. Now I got a, a little bit of a mess to clean up, but um, like uh, the painting and stuff. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was somewhat enjoyable. You can leave it on the in the background because I think this was a pretty long-ish video. Yeah, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hey, Beep Tweebot.